Hello kids. Today we are going to discuss the topic gender. So all of you take out your grammar book. We know that in English there are four genders. The masculine gender, the feminine gender, the neuter gender and the common gender. Now let's see what are these genders. Masculine gender it denotes male person or animals like boy, man, lion, peacock, etc. That means masculine gender talks about male person or animals. Now let's see what is a feminine gender. A feminine gender it denotes female persons or animals. Here also we can see that when we talk about feminine gender, it talks about female persons or animals. That means girl, cow, sister, lioness, etc. You can give some more examples. Number 3. It's your neuter gender. It is used to describe non-living things just like the book, table, fan, blackboard, mobile, microphone, etc. So when we get this type of word, you have to count out that these are neuter genders. Next come the common gender noun. It describes both male and female nouns. That means common gender does not classify whether it is a male, masculine or a feminine gender but they talk as a both. That means doctor, teacher, pilot, cousin etc. When we talk about doctor it can be a lady doctor or it can be a gents doctor. Just like that there are three ways by which masculine nouns are changed into feminine nouns that means there are certain rules which help us to change into feminine nouns now let's see what are they by changing the word just like the opposites boy girl man woman father mother brother sister okay headmaster headmistress so these are some examples where we change the whole word now let's see what is there in number two in number two we add e double s to the masculine nouns that means in a masculine word we add e double s to make it a feminine noun poet poet is a masculine noun that means a male but when we add e double s it becomes poetess that means a lady poetess author authoress lion lioness tiger tigeress so this is how we change the masculine nouns to feminine nouns now let's see what is number three in number three by adding a feminine word before or after the masculine now here we change the masculine word by adding a feminine word how he got it becomes she got grandfather it becomes grandmother peacock becomes peahen it's very easy now remember one thing kids that some masculine nouns have no feminine forms captain we don't say captain is okay we say captain captain means it can be a boy or a girl judge it can be a boy or it can be a girl when we say person it can be boy or girl a few masculine nouns are used as common gender nouns now what happened some masculine nouns are used as common gender how actor dog man painter etc okay now let's see next a few feminine gender are used as common gender nouns we know what is a common gender isn't it see the example bee cow duck etc there are some more examples also
Okay kids, let's take some more examples of common masculine and feminine genders. Calf, common. When we make it masculine, it becomes bullock and when feminine, it becomes cow. Just like that, child, son, daughter. Fall, cock, hen. Parent, father, mother. Parson, man, woman. So, this is how a common masculine and feminine nouns are classified. So, students, go through this video again and again to clarify your doubts. Next class, we will do some more examples along with the question answers. Thank you.